Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Have anyone listened to any television, newspaper, or other accounts of this trial or case conducted any internet or personal research or investigation or why discuss this case from the evening? Yeah. Yeah. All negative responses, no thanks for complying with that uh, admonition. We are ready to continue with Detective Luber's testimony. Uh, recall yesterday when we stopped the state had um, questioned Detective Luber and had uh, entered into evidence a, um, a recording uh, of a statement allegedly made by the, uh, by the defendant. So there is for your consideration in this case a recorded statement allegedly made by the defendant. It is your function to determine whether or not the statement was actually made by the defendant and if made whether the statement or any portion of it is credible. You may consider all the circumstances surrounding the statement in making that determination with the following caution. I instruct you that in this case, certain portions of the recorded statements have not been provided to you. You may only consider those portions of the statements which have been admitted in evidence. You must not speculate as to the content of your admissions or the reasons for your admissions. With that, Mr. Ramirez, you may continue. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. We were discussing S-157. You indicated that was a statement from the defendant? Yes. And when was that statement taken? August 31st, 2019. And how long after the homicide? This was his second statement? Yes, sir. Was it his first two statements? Seek to publish the fact of these sections of the brief? Correct. Okay.
your with your rights being read, are you still comfortable talking to me about this? I will. Go ahead. All right. So, you're being charged with the murder of your kill witness. March 31st, 2017, in Sunbury Village. How am I being charged with it? I didn't do nothing wrong. Okay. I didn't have to. I took my clothes and everything. Okay. Absolutely. I didn't have nothing. I didn't have no gun, nothing. Okay. No gun was found on you. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, how am I being charged with it? Nothing. Right there. But, you're being charged with the murder, so in order for the shooting of the murder, you had a gun, you used a gun to kill the kill witness. Alright, so how am I being charged with the murder? Okay, so in the course of our investigation, you know, we talked that, you didn't talk to me that night, you talked to another detective that night. Yes. When, they briefed, when you came out of Manny's house, yes. you, you came and you gave a statement that your statement was that you were in Manny's house when you heard five or six gunshots, you got on the ground, and eventually you came outside. People said they were calling 911, and um, um, you went back in the house, and then you heard via Facebook that your friend Shaquille was the one that got, got killed. I came outside. People saying they're calling the cops. They're running up and down the street. Car parked right there. Yeah. Looked down. Then I looked right back inside. The cops came, showed up, everything. I know we know that's not true, though, okay? This I swear to God, I'm not going to go we know that that's not true. Listen, uh, Jay and I have been doing this, doing this investigation for 15 months now, okay? Uh, and we got enough information and enough witnesses that sit there and put you there. Put you there and put you as the shooter, okay? Put you as the shooter. The shooter, yes. Of Shaquille, when Henny and Kaye stopped at that stop sign and on, on Kids Lane Bush, they stopped at the stop sign and you run up there. You're the first shooter. Now, you're not the only one. Listen, no, you're just gonna, you're not the only one, though. Listen, you're not the only one that did that that night. And I get that. I didn't do nothing. I don't have no problem with Kill or none of that. It doesn't matter. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people have a problem with Kill. But Kill, Kill also robbed Jack Crowley months prior. That's not my thing. I understand that. Do it. That was one thing. Get, you know, maybe you, you got in order to do something. Maybe you were ordered by somebody else, a big homie, somebody else gave an order to do something. Listen, no, you're listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Order. I don't take orders, none of that. I don't, I don't do none of that. Yeah, listen to me. We have eyewitnesses, eyewitnesses about it, that saw you walk, run up to that car, and open fire. Eyewitnesses. And guess who these eyewitnesses say? It was fresh. Oh, who's fresh? I just got to notice. Just make sure we talk about the same person. Angie's, Angie's boyfriend. He ran up to that car and opened fire. Now listen to me. And then somebody else went with Fresh and started firing too. There was two different shell cases, two different shooters. You're one of the two, okay? You hold a lot of cards here in this case. We came back, we came back you first. You go up there and you start shooting Shaquille. You shot and then you ran, okay? You ran and went to the man's house. All the witnesses Say the same thing. And guess what? Listen to me. Listen to me. Guess what? I'll say this is crazy. No, guess what? I'll say this is crazy. What was Doug wearing? I uh, was wearing red blue jeans, blue shirt, blue sweats. Everything that you were wearing that night, they, they, was, were, they described to a take. Everything that you wore that night, they told us before you even walked out of Manny's house, before we saw you, before we saw you, they described everything to a take of what Doug was wearing that night before he, uh, when he shot Shaquille. Everything. Okay? You're all, we, we know you were out in the block earlier that night with Kayvon, Smitty, Banks, Moot, Dollar, we you were out there, right? Everybody knows Shaquille, prior to going to rehab, he robbed Shaq he robbed Shaq Crowley. Okay, this is the first time Shaquille was back in the area. First time. We know we know the streets won't forget. We know that we know the brotherhood, we know how you operate. If you're gonna steal something from somebody else, you're gonna pay the tax. You're going to you're going to pay for what you did, no matter how much time is passed. Okay. Now, now listen. You said you deal with your friend. You he did. That. Okay. okay. I'm yeah. friends with his family. I understand. Yeah. I, I don't understand, understand how I'm involved in this shit. Oh, you're involved in this shit. Okay. Having a show with nobody. This is March 2017. You can't run from the past. All right. I'm not running from the past. You, you can't run from the past. You don't have my clothes. Y'all check everything about gun, gun residue, yeah. everything. Okay, what do you think the gun residue uh, has to be back as? What? What do you think it came back as? You, you're saying you checked your hands. What do you think the gun residue has to be back as? Obviously, I didn't do it. No, because no, it's gun residue.
those came back positive on your hands. You shouldn't have done it. What, it was on my hands? You had blood residue on your hands. <laughs> oh my God, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, it's just one of the things you have. When you have eyewitnesses that are putting you there. I don't think you're the only one that's shot because I don't think you're the only one. Sir, I did not shoot. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I did not shoot nobody. Eyewitnesses are telling us different. Now watch this. Science is also telling us. Science doesn't lie. Just like DNA doesn't lie. Science doesn't lie. So when science comes back and saying that Doug Lewis had gun residue on his hands from firing a gun, that doesn't lie. You just don't make that up out of anything. It's an, it's an independent company that tests your hands. It doesn't lie. Listen, you've been on the streets for how long? Okay. So how long have you been on the streets? How long have you been on the streets? How long have you been running with this person? How long have you been running with Kayvon? How long have you been running with Javante? How long have you been running with Javante? First of all, I wasn't running with the group. I knew that ever since I was a kid. Okay. So, you're hanging out there. Now listen, we knew you were all hanging out there that that day. Everyone saw you hanging out there that day. I said I was hanging out there. And I was running the same stuff all day long. Absolutely. Just recap it. Just recap it. And then somebody, either Kayvon and Dollar C. Shaq, running, riding around somewhere. The first time he's in back, he just got back from the end. And you know Shaq, Rob Shaq, Crawley, you know that. Dollar knows that. Kayvon knows that. He's, okay. he's, got, he's got to take, in, in your eyes, and with the streets, and with, with the body blue thing, or the blood set thing, is that he's got to take the back. He robbed one of you guys. He robbed one of you guys. He's not rob none of those guys. First of all, it's me. I'm not worried about no other man. I'm, just I'm not worried about it. It's, it's, it's a need. And you know, listen, and Daniel will be the first person to tell you, getting witnesses in Sunbury or anybody to talk out there, ain't, it ain't easy. And the first person they say, who shot, who shot Shaq? Oh, it's fresh. Fresh. Fresh shot Shaq. He was the first person to run up to that car and start shooting. First person.
shot with you. Okay? You want to help yourself out. We first need to get right with what happened that night. And this is both this is to get right with what happened that night. We know, I know what happened that night. I know exactly what you did and what happened, where you went afterwards, and where where we got you from that night. Okay. Once you come clean and come to admit that that's what happened, so you know just as well as I do that that happened. I've been doing this a long time. Yeah, I've gotten this whole secret gift me uh, from other people that have done the same type of thing that you did. So once you get right with that, Doug, and then you decide what can you do for yourself. And what you can do for yourself is one, tell me exactly what happened. Two, tell me what happened, who grabbed that car with you and shot with you. Now, and three, if you were ordered to do so, listen, if you were ordered to do so out of fear, out of if you didn't do it, you were food. If you didn't do it, you were going to get killed because this was an order, disrespecting an order from a higher ranking person in the, in the set. That's something that we can talk about, okay? Um, but the whole thing of, I swear my grandmother, that doesn't work anymore. That doesn't work here, okay? What works here is this. What works here is you and I having a man to man conversation and being real and being honest with each other because I've given you. A lot of information. How do you explain gun trafficking? Huh? How do you explain gun trafficking? Huh? I wasn't able to figure out, like, how does the gun really do on my hand? On your palm and on the back of your own hand. So, so yeah, you hold a tattoo. You don't look at anything first. You want to make it show up. I mean, it's there. So that's the one thing. All right, let's, let's forget about me. Forget about anything else because if you think that people are lying in the fabrication against you. All right, oh, that's, 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 that's true. Like, I did not do it. I'm telling you the truth. Okay. You just get it. You got to go to the 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 You got to go to You got to go to the 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 You got to go to I did not shoot at all, sir. I'm telling you the truth. I did not shoot at all. I'm not lying to you. Okay, so then take a Let's just say for a brief moment we believe. Let's just say for a brief moment when you walk me through the night. This is what happened. We were all out there smoking, chilling.
in part of the same scenario in which you actually said it's part of. There's a fight, you guys are going to argue, bottom of the bed. Why does it matter? Because listen, I can fight with Danielle tomorrow, and if I need a few minutes, it doesn't work. That's the first thing I think I said it, but our enemy comes up, fuck whatever we got. I know it's not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool. It's not part of the crew that you're hanging with them. I don't listen. The crew, all that shit, that shit is out the window. Now it's. Ten to 
14 shots ring out on the corner of Kingley and Bush Street. At 10 o'clock at night, we're not talking 2 in the morning where people are screaming. 10 o'clock at night in the middle of the spring on a nice fresh night with windows are probably open to talk about March. One person. One person finally feels like shit that they see an innocent man bleeding to death. Bleeding to death. Did he care? Did he go back to see if his boy was alive? He was shot. He knew exactly what just took place. Did he call my mom? No. None of you guys give a shit about this. You don't care about anybody but yourself. That's it. Nobody out there. Nobody, the fucking SBD boy, the Johnny boy, whatever the hell you want to call yourself today. Nobody cares about themselves, anybody else but themselves. Today I'm right with you, tomorrow, tomorrow you're food. That's how it is. That's the street. I get that. That's cool. Whatever. I don't care. You know what I feel bad for? Aunt. First she loses fucking norm. And now she's about to lose you. I mean, really? She's not a bad girl. She has a fucking mouth on her. You may not like to hear her ask you to But she's a good girl. You want to know what happened? I didn't know who got shot. I heard shots. So when I came outside, I should have car apart there. The cops was already coming. Cops were already on the road. You got the man, he took it, it, it was a 10 minute frame with a time oh, shot kill. Oh, the time oh, you ran around and finally got the man out of the bond. So you may not look like that, but like, I mean, we have time, we have time on the camera of the cars. We have the 911 tape with the time of the phone call probably came in. And the arrival time of the first officer is due to be in the area. So, it might have seemed like seconds or minutes to you because your adrenaline's running, people are freezing the fuck out, cars are driving away, everything's taking place. It might have been like a short time. <coughs> Believe me. But when you sit down and you start pulling these documents, and you go, yeah, Tony and I were floored to see 15 minutes. That's what I've heard of. And they can only get one out of the On the 4th of July, you know how many 911 calls we get for gunshots? On the 4th of July, when you know it for a fact that it's not getting fireworks, and yet the police get inundated with calls. That night, on a nice spring night, one call. One. Every you know, you've been gone 15 minutes, after you shot your kill, you know, you've been gone anywhere. Because in the alley! When you walked in, you know, you, you went through the car, and eventually you made your way to the man's house. But then you came in hard. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, I'm telling you the honest truth. All this doesn't sound right. I just not had nothing to do with that man's death at all. I had no gun but, in my hand. Yeah, so you say that, You got to talk to so you guys locked up in prison. Go on prison time. I don't have nothing to do with none of that. I'm telling you the honest truth. Yeah, you keep alluding to banks. You keep alluding to get banks right there. No, you need to ask people in prison. Okay. I don't ask people in prison. So who do you work at? Bank. You work, so if you're, if you're saying banks, you're talking slum, you're talking Javon Red. Without a doubt, so. Without a doubt. So you're, you're, you're throwing those three names in. You won't say their names, but you don't answer to anybody. You don't take orders to anyone, but you won't say their names. You will say that. Are you, are you afraid of what will happen if you say that I went up to that car with Banks? I went up to that car with Smith. I didn't go up to that car with nobody. No. It had nothing to do with no. nothing. So, who said that? No, I don't know you. I don't know you. You don't give a fuck with that. So, explain the gunshot that you want your hands in. Help me get over that for Explain that. If you explain that. Yes, I got a gun earlier in the night. Yes, I did it. Whatever, cool. Explain that to me. I didn't shoot shit that. So how is it on your palm and the back of your hand? Exactly where, when you're holding a gun, exactly where you would expect her to do this. That's the only part that makes sense. Yes, I know you're telling the truth about the incident in the street with you and Donna. And I know you're going up to the point. Manny has a bit of a complaint to about who's with him outside. But okay, listen, you guys are smoking. Maybe your memory's a little job. I get that. Okay. But I can't get it I'm sober. I haven't smoked since I don't know how long. No, 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 right now, I'm saying. I'm talking about that night. So I'm saying maybe that night, maybe I didn't recall who was with him. I didn't have 15 minutes before the police were even called. You could have put a gun anywhere. That, that, that doesn't fly. You know okay, that. Okay, then, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. Barely small folks in Sunbury that put a house, a gun in a house. I don't know them. They don't know me, and they touch positive. So you can drop a gun in you can throw it in the woods. Everybody knows there's, there's different places to put guns. You know, listen, we, we, we can't keep battling about that. Okay, because we know that. What's going on, Tom? We know that. What's going on, Tom? Come on. What's going on, Tom? You know what's going on, Tom? Don't play that with me. 
on Back Street. Anyway, you can get over the witch hunt. You can sit there and argue that you see where I'm on. On our side, you're on. Yeah. 
good. So we had to be in close proximity, real close proximity, to kind of have to
My car was in the driveway. Even the cops were over there to Ann's house. I'm trying to do the hardest to keep it back against this family. Yeah. I am trying to help myself by telling you the truth. By telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I believe our eyewitnesses, I believe the science, and I believe the scenario, the scenario that you, that you, that you spun on us was great on the line. What? The scenario that you spun for us was great up until the point of the shooting. Because at the shooting, you weren't with me. We knew that. That's why I worked with her and I was in front of her. Why did you say the name and you were not control character? You think if the shots then you came. What about the neighbors and all the, the people around? The kids knocking on the door with the gun, trying to hide. Why do they have to be? These people are ducking down just like you're ducking down. And all of a sudden, they're like, we don't know who shot, we don't know anything, but the kids knocking on people's doors. Okay, that's true. So I get that. I got me. I get it. Hey, boy, you would protect me. You would protect Goof. You don't like Slum. We don't like Slum. I'm cool with all of them. They are cool. That's why I'm here. Like I don't know what I like. 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 I don't know what I like.
thing I'll remember is what happened that night. I mean, I mean, you remember shooting a gun. It's not like it's an everyday occurrence. No, maybe you lost a shot in the woods. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. If you shot a gun in the woods. No, not, not that that's true. When did you shoot the gun in the woods? Not at all Tuesday, even hanging out for me in the afternoon when you guys show? No, no, no. 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 I honestly feel 
you for your shape. Just right now, this there, in this area that we painted for this picture that you killed Shakir White. You killed Shakir White and you just gunshot with it on your hands. Sometimes you fire a gun. You fire a gun sometime that day. That's what you can't hide from. You're not going to go to hide from that. So you might want to think of another version of that. To be honest, to be honest, I didn't shoot one. And now I don't know for a fact I didn't shoot that then at all. I didn't mean, hold no gun in front of that. Listen, I did not shoot at nobody. I'm telling you the truth. Some Mary Jones family. Okay. You know why? Because my family don't live out here. That's exactly why. Well, that's what I'm telling you. I told you that from jump. I yeah. said that you have to start thinking about you because nobody else is going to think about you. Now I don't care about you. He's telling you. He didn't make this shit up. I was going to tell you that's the problem. You can't even tell us that you saw a gay line in that shoe. You're saying that you were in Manny's house when Manny tells us you weren't even at his front steps. So that all the holes. Walk 
there. We can still continue to talk to people, and we'll be doing it again back in case on Zoom. Now we've got three issues. And let you guys play it out in court. And that's where the attorneys are going to hang up though. But ultimately, at the end of the day, all the answers are going to be right there. Because I don't understand how I got to bring my I understand shot a gun, but I didn't touch a gun. I didn't shoot a gun that day. Remember, when you on the witness stand, you walked up to that car and shoot, and then gunshot heard the music and it sounded on your hand because you shot. That's what we're going to go. I'm just explaining to you. I understand that, but I don't understand how people see me out of all people run up to the car.
the bank to walk off. Yeah. And after he had words with us, yeah. so then they walk off. We don't see them again. Where are you at now? You're still out there. Right? Okay, so down the street. Yeah, okay. Okay, so who's hanging out in front of the time you have to know? Um, Samaria, uh, Dollar, um, the two other girls, KT, and somebody else I'm not going to name. Who's still around? Who, I think we've already left. They go where? To probably the back door. I'm not sure. Who was in the back door? I'm not sure. He just walked off. Did you show me? He walked up by himself? He walked up by himself? Yeah. Okay, so after he moved up. So three of them did. You're a man, you're a man, then what happens? Then we hear a gun sound. Do you see the headlights at this point? Do you see vehicles coming down the road? Do you see anything yet before you hear the gun sound? We see the lights coming down. We didn't take a while. So when we heard the gun shots, we got down. We think the people shooting that up. Well, I came outside, and people were like, uh, the little girl was like, oh, 
Lord, this is my brother, this is my brother. And then the little girl, then she ran up there. And then that's when the cops, when the cops already came, and she ran up there, that's my brother, that's my brother. So then it's the same color that killed him already then. So when he pulled out, I think the shit had that. That's the only thing I'm saying. With the headlight. Car was stuck right there. That's the only thing I've seen.
Yeah, yeah, but you're saying, you're saying that you admit to that, but you keep saying that I'm still a man who's forced on the shoe and stuff. We know you are a man who's forced on the shoe. We know it. We know it. We know it. Okay? And you get aggravated, but it's just your body and your mind are allowing you to be aggravated. I'll tell the truth. I'll tell the truth. I was there. Y'all were there. I know the truth. You're already there. All right, then. I'll tell the truth. That's what I'm trying to tell you about. I just want to say I have a giant puzzle. I keep saying that. And I have it. That's how you know. And some people say that. And then I put another piece together. And I put another piece together. And it's going to be cool. And that's where you come in. And you're able to feel what I'm told. And you explain. You're part of where you're at. Why are you even in the area? Why are you seeing? Why are these people saying? What you're seeing. I was out there. Why are you shooting my vehicle? Why are you shooting? Why is this? Why is happening? Why are you protecting? I wasn't nowhere near that vehicle when there was that stop sign. Nowhere. We have people saying you were the first one right now. No, they were shooting. No. On the phone, right? No. It's time to look down. This is where we're at, though. This is why we have to go. I understand. I understand. I understand. Here's Kinsley. Yeah. Uh-huh. 